lovely people. My name is Sonia Bakus. I come originally from Poland where I made my master degree in art. And now I live in England for 15 years and I am an art teacher and art presenter. And I would like to start first lesson with you. Uh, with very beginning, I would like to do with you cave art, caveman art. As you can imagine, that was very long time ago. We know now three really very well, three caves, Lascaux, Altamira and Chavot in France. Some of these pictures I will show you first before we start doing our little workshop. This is from Lascaux. This is from Chavot. This is over 30,000 years ago. Can you imagine that we call this primitive art? I don't think so. This is anything primitive in it. You can see how well artists feature all these lionesses heads with all details with even shadowing okay this picture is quite interesting as well we can see a man um a hunter arrow this is kind of mystery object which maybe indicate he was a shaman as well because he's a bird if you know let me know and spur and then intestines. So this is wounded buffalo. For our little workshop, you need some quite resistant, water resistant paper. This is a um, watercolor paper in color, creamy color, but you can have any like uh, universal paper. We need sponge. But if you don't have sponge, kitchen towel, I got already on a plastic board, squeeze watercolors, but you can use watercolors from blocks like, like this one as well. And we don't need really a lot. Just a squeeze a little bit. So main color would be ochre, yeah and amber kind of brown colors ochre and brown we don't need a lot we will do first imitation of cave wall so that's why i need sponge and kitchen towel to do kind of patterns look like of the wall rough texture yes and then next stage is drawing and this drawing uh, we will do with charcoal so you need charcoal preferably actually willow one yeah and you can also use soft pastels i happen to have um like a ochre mm, clay, dry one. And this is what these people used to used to do their drawing, burn wood from bonfire, um, juices from berries, blood from animals, and as well charcoal from mm, choke from mm, caves, even from earth, Anything like clay, red with rich in iron, okay? So get started because we don't have a lot of time. So what I will do first, I will wet all with water. Of course, we need the water. Oh, I forgot. I wet with damp sponge. Uh, it's a little bit drippy, but I really want first to do wet surface of this paper yeah because this is a technique wet on wet which i'm going to do now and then now i dip it i don't even uh, going to use uh, i'm not going to use brush but you more than welcome use 
some brushes like this flat brush or ordinary round brush good for watercolors so quickly when you paint wet on wet water dissolve a nicely paint and the paint remain very leave very soft marks on paper which look very painterly now i'm dipping my sponge in more brown because that was an ochre right just put water a little bit beside so i'm gonna start already make little patterns but i don't really want to look very mechanical like textile pattern i so i turn sponge in different directions make smudges like this like that right and then even more brown color maybe now i will try with squash kitchen towel yeah like that a little bit more colors now that's leave quite interesting patterns but again i have to try to make this look a little bit um, accidental not too regular you see so something like cracks right maybe a tiny bit more of red on the top of still damp paper so what next uh, i'm going to do next is i need to dry this paper however with with my hair hair dryer yes but this particularly ochre is actually quite good to draw straight on a wet or damp surface or actually even if you if i dip here in the water so i can already do some marks first before i dry i can already start doing some imitation of caveman art caveman art is very fascinating for me because cave people done a really good job if it comes to drawing animals they were really excellent anatomists and they really know very well animal proportions why this happened have you ever wondered why they were so good and the answer is quite obvious because they hunt for animals animals were source of food for them they had a huge respect to animals and they really also know very well animal anatomy so that's why for instance they describe animals like i have this example here so well proportions are really spot on however themselves as a hunters are like a stickman that's indicated that they weren't very, very interested in look of themselves. Okay, what I'm going to do now, I got, I show you closer with my phone, my rough sketch. I got a little sketch of one of animal, but that's not a, no, not finished yet because I want to put silhouettes of animals with charcoal. And to do this, so I really need to dry. So I'm going to switch off for a moment and get back to you when surface of this paper is dry. So my paper now is dry, yeah, and I can apply drawing with charcoal. So that's a charcoal willow charcoal bar, and just quickly i will try to imitate one of copy one of this lioness's face 
here, for example, with this amazing, incredible shadowing, is, is really over 30,000 years ago. Will you guess that this is uh, someone who lived that long time ago? Someone was so talented and left these marks for us to be discovered. And you can even see whiskers, yes, uh, big, quite big nose with shadowing. So I will even smudge a little bit with my um, finger. But the nice thing with charcoal uh, willow bars is that you can break in half or even in smaller pieces and you can use side of this charcoal to do um, to fulfill the places a little bit. She got eyes here and then the shadow under her neck, quite visible open mouth. I tell you, they are really great artists. And it's very interesting story how uh, cave, Lascaux cave was discovered or Altamira, so you can go online and uh, into some books and search more if you're interested. Right? Uh, that's how... Maybe I'm gonna draw now little hunter somewhere here. Little kind of stick man with very slim tummy quite thick legs which can indicate that they have a really well developed muscles to run and chase and then he got his bow but they really draw themselves much in more, much more worse manner than animals I will give some outline around and then here and then here we go. I don't want to overcrowd this little picture. If you can, you can do bigger size. This is more or less A4 size. So I'm just going to bring closer to you, right? And that's um, my interpretation of caveman art. I got even a little bit more pictures here, not the best print. Thank you for watching, I hope you enjoy and I hope I inspired you to do some work, this type of work. Thank you.